Hello and welcome to the new video where I will show you how you can download and install the scikit-learn scikit library within this Python Anaconda Jupyter Net environment. And before I start the video, just a quick information that within description I have shown couple of other uh, I, I have given couple of other video links where here I am showing the installation, but let's say one fine day you need to uninstall the library or you need to upgrade the library, then those video links I have given in the description that you can utilize or you can learn from them easily. All right, so let's get started. First thing first, you need to make sure that you are in the Jupyter Notebook. Also, your internet is working fine. After that, you need to use the exclamation sign and say pip and say install and then scikit-learn. So once you have written this command, you need to press shift enter. If you are in Windows, shift enter or if you are in Mac, then shift return. It's basically the same thing in both these uh, or shift uh, return or shift enter. So now it is collecting the uh, scikit-learn, it is downloading the scikit-learn and down there installation is saying that it successfully installed the scikit-learn library. Once you have uh, installed the library scikit-learn, you can import the scikit-learn sci scikit-learn as sklearn. So generally scikit-learn if you need to access this method and properties you need to write the entire library name. So usually experienced programmers write the alias name as sklearn or you can give anything you can even say sk as well or sl as well which you write so that you don't have to write every time entire name of the library but just the sl so once you do that import let me see what i have done wrong all right i just checked that to import the library you cannot mention like a dash like we have done it over here but you need to mention the sk learn and you can mention the alias or anything as you want. So once you enter this, you have the library imported and you will say sl dot and then you can access its whatever uh, functions and libraries. And generally, uh, an experienced programmer or anyone who is using it from a long time, you will see that sklearn has a lot of different modules. If you need to access a particular one, you need to write a dot over here and press enter and you will see that it has a lot of different analysis like a disc discriminant analysis it has some covariance and things like those feature extraction selection and things like those a particular module that you need to write so generally in the machine learning you basically get the a particular type of module from here so that's mainly i wanted to show you how you can install and then import this library since installation name is different and the name of the library is different so that's about it and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.